Uh, anyways, <laughs> moving on to stock talk. Ooh, exciting. I love numbers. <laughs> I'm more of a letters guy myself. Anyways, we have with us CBS's number one stock market reporter, seer of the future, demonic oracle, the mighty Kurnoskos. Hey, Kurnoskos, thanks for joining us on Wake Up with Mark and Carol. So why don't you tell us how the market's doing today? <laughs> Wise Kronoskos, should I sell my Tesla stock? Ashava, Ashava. Oh, whoopsie. I have morning brain. <laughs> I forgot to consult the ancient tomes. Mm. According to the ancient tomes of unholy wisdom, Kronosko says good morning and to hold Tesla. <laughs> I could have told you that, Carol. <laughs> Rumala. Rumala. He didn't like that joke. He thinks you're insulting him. I, I would never insult Kurnoskos. I mean, his knowledge, it's just beyond my comprehension. Plus, his stock tips have made me millions. <laughs> <laughs> so, there is talks of Congress federally decriminalizing marijuana, which would mean big booms for cannabis investments. So, ooh, my Kurnoskos, are pot stocks a good deal? Combatine! Combatine! Sunblood! He said that we need to sacrifice our firstborns because they will lead us to ruin, and pot stocks are a very volatile investment. Ooh! <laughs> Looks like Kurnosko, CBS's certified stock market guru, is demanding that we sacrifice the country's firstborns to avoid a recession. Well, I, for one, am on board. I mean, my daughter just entered high school, and talk about terrible teens. <laughs> Her daughter is a bitch. Anyways, Kurnoskos, I gotta ask you, and sorry to keep you so long, but oh mighty Kurnoskos, will sacrificing children lead to a bullish market? <laughs> what is Kurnosko saying? Well, he says that he is currently being raided by the FBI. Hmm. What do you mean by that, Kurnoskos? FBI, open up! <laughs> Kronoskos? Kronoskos? Huh, it seems like his feed has just dropped. Oh, in other news, uh, it seems CBS's top stock market reporter, Kronoskos the Oracle, has been arrested for insider trading. That sounds like something my daughter would do. I hate her. Oh, well, you're the father. More on that at 11.